High class, we're going to learn how to do range of motion to the shoulder for state competency. Range of motion um, for state competency is a little different than what it would be for your regular residents or your patients at the facility. Um, when you're normally doing range of motion, you would obviously have to do both sides and you would be moving all joints that don't, you know, that the patient is not able to move themselves. For state competency, you are only required to do one shoulder. So I would knock, Mr. Smith, it's me, Kelly, again. It's time for us to do range of motion to your shoulder. Now, I know we've always told you to make sure you hand sanitize when you're coming in and out of a room and to wash your hands before a procedure. When I'm doing these skills for state competency, many people ask me, why, aren't I, why don't we have to wash our hands when we start? The reason we're not washing our hands when we start is your very first skill of the day for state competency will be hand washing and then you will end every skill with hand washing. So if I just finished my last skill, I washed my hands, then I can start this next skill. They're, they're assuming they're already clean. So I pull my privacy curtain. I'm gonna raise the bed up to a good working height for me. I do not need gloves on for this skill. It is easier, I think, to do range of motion in a supine position. If the head of the bed is just slightly up for the shoulder, that will really impact things. I'm gonna put this rail down to get it out of my way. And since I'm working with this arm, I'm gonna go ahead and move my call light out of the reach. I'm gonna just expose the arm I'm working on. Now, when I do this, there's only two movements you're required to do for state competency. But one thing you always wanna let your resident know is that if they are having any pain, to let me know so I can stop and let the nurse know. You want to hold the arm at the elbow and the wrist. So I'm holding at the elbow and the wrist and you can kind of get a feel for what's comfortable for you. I usually come over on the elbow, under on the wrist, but that's kind of a personal preference that you can play with and see what you like. But I'm start at the side and I'm gonna come all the way up to the ear. And I'm gonna come all the way back down. I'm moving the extremity gently. And you wanna tell your evaluator what you're doing you know, I, I would tell the evaluator, I'm holding at the elbow and wrist, I'm moving it gently, I'm coming all the way up to the ear. Because they give you credit if they see you do it or they hear you say it. So even if your, your movements aren't as gentle as you had wanted them to be, but you said you were moving it gently, they'll usually still give you credit for it. You have to do this at least three times. Then supporting elbow and wrist, again, I'm going to come out, so at least up to the shoulder level. And again, at least three times. How was that? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover him up. Anytime I raise the bed up, I'm gonna have to put it right back down. I'm gonna make sure he can reach his call light see if he wants to be lifted up or you know lift our head of his bed up any do you need anything else he says no I'm gonna pull my privacy curtain back and I'm gonna to turn to my evaluator and tell them I would wash my hands <laughs>